there are several Stream Deck competitors and there's just like a new one coming out all the time. How does this brand VSD stack up to the quality that we know and expect from Elgato? And is this value option worth considering? That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. We're gonna take a look at this VSD N4 Pro and compare it to certain features of the Stream Deck XL. And we're gonna find out if this delivers the same kind of quality and experience at a value price. We're gonna be focusing on the unboxing, the build quality, and the software flexibility. So if you wanna know if the N4 Pro is worth a switch or just worth checking out in general, let's start with the first impression, which is what it feels like right out of the box. The box itself is compact and clean. The branding is very minimal and it's kind of generic, which makes it feel like it's a value kind of budget product, but do not let this box fool you. Inside the box, you get the N4 Pro unit, you get the essential USB cable, and you get a manual. There's no extra unnecessaries. It's just straight to the point. My first impression of this N4 Pro is that it feels really good and it is not cheap. You, you know, you see brands like this sometimes and you're like, oh, it's not gonna feel good. It's not gonna look good. This, when you physically compare it to the Elgato XL, it kind of feels on par with the weight and the density and the construction and it is not flimsy, y'all. This thing is solid. The designs are clearly trying to compete with the features of the Stream Deck Plus, except you get more keys and you get RGB knobs. You'll notice the four metal knobs with the really nice illuminated RGB rings. And you will also notice there's an extra button on the two rows for the keys. This aesthetic is very clean, it's very modern, and it's arguably way more visually engaging than the Stream Deck XL. Now, of course you do get more buttons on the Stream Deck XL. The footprint's larger with that one, but this one, just looks way more clean. When you are trying other Stream Deck competitors, I have noticed that the buttons are not good. Their buttons are usually kind of sticky and they aren't tactile and they would get stuck when you press them. The N4 Pro has sturdy plastic shells. They feel amazing when they're clicked and they are right in line with the Stream Deck buttons. The knobs here are also really nice. They're made of aluminum and the texture of these is premium. So you get a really nice, cool feeling, very tactile feedback on the rotation, really good tactile feedback when you press the buttons and everything feels very precise. Nothing sticks, nothing clicks, all of that. There's haptic feedback on this that you can turn off. So if you click a button or you swipe, you can add haptic feedback to give you a little bit of vibration. You can totally turn that off if you want to. So two features on the N4 Pro that you will not see on the Elgato Stream Deck XL is this adjustable kickstand, which allows you to set the viewing angle to two different heights. So you can set it at the higher setting for your specific desk height. And then you can also angle it a little bit smaller. With the Stream Deck XL, you just get the one position or you can take it off of the like dock attachment itself. The one downside of this device is that you cannot take off this stand that's attached to it. So you have the two options or it's flat. One of the things that is super great about the N4 Pro that you will not see on the Stream Deck XL, but you could see on the Stream Deck Plus with an adapter is a USB hub. This out of the box comes with the USB hub and the N4 Pro features a USB 3.0 hub. So you have one USB-C port and two USB-A ports. And this is, this is arguably one of the strongest arguments for swapping this out for the Stream Deck XL because I can add three additional ports to my computer and I'm able to plug in my microphone. I'm able to plug in my card reader and I'm able to plug in my phone so it can charge. So super great, makes simplifying and making your cable management much more clean. It is something that you can add to the Stream Deck Plus, but it is an additional add-on. Now you will want to keep in mind with this hub, you'll want to make sure that you have really good cables with really good transfer speeds to be able to support high data transfer. If you are transferring files or um, like a USB webcam or anything like that. All right, so now we're gonna get into the software because people buy Elgato products, not just for the quality of the product, but they buy it for the software. The software is arguably one of Elgato's strongest points. With the VSD Craft software, they do offer a similar kind of marketplace that looks very similar and has a lot of the same plugins from Elgato, which has been super great, but there are some plugins that just do not exist yet that do require someone to actually convert them over. One of the things that you will notice with the VSD Craft software, which I think is the biggest downside to this product, is that the software does not have the authority that Elgato has, and it does have some parts to it that just make it feel like it's not, it just doesn't have that authority. And that's just gonna happen with a lot of these alternative docs is that until they get enough people in the community to help get their reputation up and trustworthiness, 
it just feels like it's just, you just don't know. You know what I mean? So I will say on the flip side, they do have an active Discord community and there are several developers that swear by their products, that promote their products, that love their products, that are actively working on a lot of the plugins and trying to make the whole, the company's branding better, the company's offerings better, the marketplace better. And so that's been really, that's been really good to see. There's also some stuff I feel like that could be done with the polish of the software itself. Also, when it comes to customizing your stream doc, there are some elements that just feel a little bit clunky you know, the text doesn't line up, it's not as intuitive, and some of the text is translated, or it's not translated out of Chinese, so it shows up in Chinese, but, um, you know, I think they have some work to do. They are a small team, so I think, you know, with more, capturing more of the market will help them be able to make these improvements to their software. With that aside, though, the software is responsive. It does work. I haven't had a single issue trying to add icons or add any of the plugins or getting any of the shortcuts to work. I use this primarily for video editing and for streaming and then controlling some of the settings on my computer, like my volume, my brightness and things like that. All of that has worked flawlessly. And their plugins also, might I say, I use their ones for Final Cut Pro and they have um, like profiles essentially. Also, like if you think about the Stream Deck, you have different profiles that you can set up automatically depending on what application you have open. The one that they have for the Final Cut Pro app is amazing because it had shortcuts that I didn't even think to turn into a shortcut for adding like markers or copying effects and then pasting effects. And it has really sped up my editing workflow so much. I love just having this thing on my desk and being able to use it to just help me be way more efficient in all the things that I'm doing on my computer. Other really cool things about this is that the screen supports dynamic backgrounds. So you can animate GIFs or MP4s and have a little bit of animation in the background. It also extends to the touch bar, which is a true touch bar. So it dynamically displays visualizers like your volume control or your brightness meter, um, timeline scrubbing you could also add here. It is just, really cool to see and really just like kind of like jazzes up your desk. Now with the knobs, you can program the knobs to do different things for different pages. You can also customize the color for each respective knob. So if you want your knobs to be four different colors, you can do that. Okay. And yes, if you're wondering, they did send me this dog. However, they sent it in exchange for a reel, a short form reel, not a YouTube video. They don't actually know that I'm making this video. They are finding out what I'm saying the same time you are. What I'm gonna say in this video hopefully helps improve the product because we can't get better if we don't get constructive criticism. With all of that being said, this thing still sits on my desk to this day. And I still use this device to this day, if that's any indication of whether or not I'm going to recommend this thing. So for your final purchasing advice, you know, I, would I recommend this? Absolutely. Um, I think if raw button quantity and being able to have a billion buttons all accessible without going through different swipes is important to you, like get the Stream Deck XL. I think if you want something a little bit more consolidated, something a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, um, you want knobs, you want a USB hub, you want to simplify your desk a little bit. I think the N4 Pro is a great alternative to the Stream Deck if the budget is a factor. Um, even if budget isn't a factor, I think it's great to see other competitors in this space to help bring more competition and help drive innovation and kind of just, I don't believe in monopolies in certain, in any market, honestly. Um, so it's good to see that there is a competitor that is giving them a little bit of a run for their money. I think the biggest um, area of improvement for VSD right now is definitely the software. And I think if you give it time, you know, it'll get there and we'll continue to give feedback. That's partially why I'm making this video. I think this is a, it's a great tool for the modern creator, whether you're a streamer, your content creator, even if you're like an engineer, even if you just sit a lot at your desk a lot, this thing helps reduce a lot of the work that you have to do, a lot of repetitive stuff. You can copy paste things like really easily. Anyway, if you need help, join their Discord. They do giveaways a lot in their Discord all the time for free things to help bring awareness and promote the brand. And they also um, have coupon codes as well, like 20, 30% off they run frequently. So worth joining. They seem like they're really trying. All the links to everything that I mentioned in this video, how to purchase it on Amazon, if you want to purchase from them directly and check out their website, I left that for you below. I also left a link to their Discord community if you want to join that. All that is linked below. If you um, have any more questions, feel free to let me know. And uh, you should let me know in the comments, like if you would consider getting one of these as an alternative to the Stream Deck in Elgato, 
Not there's anything wrong with Elgato, but I just don't like that they have a monopoly on the market right now for a lot of the stuff. I think competition is very good and very healthy. Not to mention, I've been having some issues with some of my Elgato products as of late. So it's always good to have other places that you can get things from uh, to check out. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I always appreciate you guys for watching my videos, leaving comments, liking and sharing. It really means a lot to me. And if you wanna check out any more tech related videos, feel free to check out any of the videos that are coming up next.